Hello and welcome to this video about using HTML and CSS to create a web page. Now, on here, this is just an example of what we'll be creating. I've chosen a band and we'll, you can choose your own band. And we're going to just create, at least in this video here, um, the home page. And then later on, if you want, you can sort of continue on and create a store, albums, maybe a gallery, whatever you think uh, would suit you well. Now, what we'll do, uh, basically, is, like I said, build this from scratch. We'll build it in REPL. And, uh, you know, I've just sort of copied and pasted here from Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia, for um, just some information here. And just sort of set it up to look like a, a nice, solid, basic page. So let's um, see what we can do here. So in your REPL, we're going to create a new REPL. And we want to make sure that we choose this time an HTML, CSS, JS, right? Um, not Python. So make sure you've selected this one and give it a name. You might give it your, you know, your band or whatever you want to make your website about. So I'm going to call this Smashing Pumpkins. I'll call it Fan Site. Yes, Mr. Fleming, still living in the 90s. Create the ripple. And that's not a... Uh, slight against the new version of the Smashing Pumpkins. But anyways, create a REPL here. Now, what's nice about this is that it will already set up here our index.html. So this will be our home page, as you know. Um, we have a JavaScript. We won't be using that here. And we also have our style CSS. They've also linked um, a few things. They've linked the JavaScript, which I, we won't use, um, but we've got our style here already linked. And we'll just make sure that that does work. Um, and we've also got it set up properly with our doc type, our HTML that opens and closes, our head that opens and closes, and our body. Okay, we're going to make a few changes up here right to start. Um, so we'll leave these two here is our char set. So that's your uni Unicode, sort of our universal one that we typically use. Um, I'm not 100% sure about this, but with REPL, they've got this here. So I'm assuming that it is maintaining the width of the device. And then here, the title. Well, again, this is before you. Um, so I'm going to put in my title, the Smashing Pumpkins. And I'm going to use that upper line there just to click it. And this is going to be my home page. Okay. And that should be it for the heading. We could put a bit of a description, but I think we'll, we'll keep that here. Now, as we sort of work through, um, we're going to sort of add uh, some classes and stuff, but we'll get the basic content done right at the start here. So at the very top, and I'm going to keep sort of jumping back and forth between these two here, at the very top, uh, we want to create this header section. And we've got sort of um, these names, right, these links across the top here, the title, and a background picture. But uh, we won't worry too much about the styling yet. We just want to get sort of that content in there. So right at the beginning of the body here, I may I'll just make this a little bit bigger if I can go at the very top here uh, what we want to do is we'll just call it a header and we've got this name here so we can just sort of choose it this is our header and we'll sort of start and end our header I've just got to get a little bit used to how REPL works here um, in terms of putting that in uh, what we'll do here right so this whole section is our header and then we're going to create what's called our sort of our nav section. So I'll just put nav in there and we'll close that up too. Oops. Sorry. Nav. Okay, I have to <laughs> try that again. So nav, I just have to press enter. And in that nav section, we're going to create our unordered list, right? So it's going to put those different things in there. So this is going to be a UL. And I don't know why I brought that over. There we go. So an unordered list. And we're going to put in three different things here. So we're going to put in our list item one. And uh, we'll put in the link right away here. Um, a href right for our linking as you've seen before and um, 
We'll link this one because this is going to go back to our home page. Uh, it will be our index.html. And um, we'll call this one home. And we'll end the link. And then we'll end the line item. Go. And I'm just going to copy this three times or two more times. And uh, at the moment, we will just leave these guys blank because we have not created the page here. That'll just be a placeholder for us. And then home again, these could change for you if you want to sort of continue on. Um, I'm going to put that store and then albums or discography sort of thing. Okay, and so we've got our end of our nav here. Just bring that up. So that looks pretty good. Um, what we're going to do next is put the heading in inside our um, header section. So we want to put that heading name. So let me just make sure I didn't close up my UL here. Let's just make sure. UL. Okay, so close up our and then in here, uh, we'll put in a uh, h1. So that's our main heading, if you recall. And the uh, Smashing Pumpkins. And we'll close that up. And I think that's pretty good for our header. Although I see my nav is in the wrong spot. I would like to put my nav here. Okay, but this is all in the header section. So the header section starts um, here, ends here. We've got our links that we'll have and our title. So if we just run this at the moment, just to make sure, that's looking good. Okay, so in our basic lookout here, we've got our three links at the top and then our Smashing Pumpkins title. And like I said, we're not worrying about styling. We're just trying to get uh, everything in. So next that we'll do um, is we'll create a uh, sort of a section, which will be basically our content section, which will we'll sort of add some more stuff later on. So I'm just going to pull this one up. We've got an extra line here. And there we go. Just to get that over properly. There we go. And I'm just going to come down and create a section. And I don't like the way it's, I don't think I'm using this quite right because it's not lining up nicely. But anyways, there's a section. And um, what we'll do is create an H2 next. And this H2 will just be basically saying home. I'll make that all capital. I'll end the H2 there. And then we're basically going to put, well, we'll have the image in here. Um, and so we'll talk, we'll just put the placeholder for the image at the moment, image, and then that would be an SRC. And I will just put in uh, that for the moment, just sort of so that we know we want to put an image in there. And then we're going to put some of my content. Now you might want to pause here and uh, bring in some content or whatever. I'm just going to copy and paste what I did before. Now, I, like I said, I just took this from Wikipedia. So I put that in there, slash P. So I'm going to end this paragraph, and I'm going to do another paragraph. Just again, copy and pasting. One second here. Might have a little bit too much. I'm going to have to just erase something here at the bottom. Just copying and pasting from it. Well, that's okay. I'll just keep that. And so I started this section, right? And then we've got our home title on it. We have an image, which we still have to bring in. And we've got the P's for the paragraph. So I've got two paragraphs here. And then we close the section up. So again, we'll run that. And again, we just have home here. We have some text, which looks good. And then the last thing that we need to do is uh, just sort of create the footer section. So we created a header, which has all this stuff up here. We've got sort of a section for the content. 
and then we're just going to put in um, a footer at the bottom. So we'll just go ahead and put that code in as well. So at the bottom here, just underneath the section, we will put in a footer. And so there's a few things in here as well. Um, what we'll do is we'll put in an H3, so a heading as well. And again, the smashing pumpkins. And um, we're going to put in some, uh, again, an unordered list. Oops. And then that will contain our links to the social media. Okay. At the moment, there's just sort of generic links. Um, but, you know, you can, this is more for, you know, for your own understanding rather than uh, worrying too much about this. So I'm going to do uh, an unordered list again. And then, of course, each line item. Okay. And in each line item, just like before, we are going to have an href. So an a href, a link to, um, in this case, we'll put one to YouTube. So we have to put the full thing, HTTPS colon forward slash YouTube.com. Um, one thing that we'll do here is we'll put a target and this way it will open up a separate page. And so we'll make it blank. So you have to do an underscore blank. Okay. So like I said, that will target or bring out the, um, a, a new page there. And then the link will be the image. So I'm actually going to put the IMG here. So image equals SRC. And we'll, again, we'll just leave this blank for a second. So image SRC equals, and I'm just going to put open and close there. And we'll close the image up. And then, of course, we'll close the link up. And then we will close line item. And then we have to do this a few times. Oops, backspace. There we go. Okay, so this one's our YouTube one, and we're gonna put the image in there. I'm gonna do three of these, so I'm gonna copy this twice. And we've got YouTube, so then let's just do, uh, I think probably Spotify. And then the other one was Facebook. We all love Facebook. And as I look at this, what did I forget? I forgot the www in front of each one. And you have to put in the full address. You can't just sort of uh, put Spotify.com or whatever. Okay, so that should deal with that. We've got our line items. We've just got to clean a few things up here. So we want to make sure that we close up our unordered list. And then we want to make sure that we clean up our uh, footer, I guess. That's the other one that we got there. Good. So again, we'll run this just to take a little look. And so at the bottom, again, now we don't have any images here, so that's why nothing's showing up. But uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. So I think we'll do is we'll end this video here. We've got most of the HTML done. Uh, we need to now style it with our um, um, CSS. And so we'll get into that in the next video.